Let's think a little bit about what it means to multiply fractions. Say I want to multiply 1 half times 1 fourth. Well, one way to think about this is we could view this as 1 half of a fourth. And what do I mean there? Well, let me take a whole. Let me take a whole here. And let me divide it into fourths. So let me divide it into fourths. So I'll divide it into four equal sections. And so 1 fourth would be one of these four equal sections. But we want to take 1 half of that. So how do we take half of that? Well, we could divide this into two equal sections and then just take one of them. So divide it into two equal sections and then take one of them. So we're taking this pink area is 1 half and we're going to take, or sorry, this pink area, this whole pink area is 1 fourth and now we're going to take half of it. We're now going to take half of it. So that's this yellow square right over here. But what fraction of the whole does this yellow represent? Well, it now represents 1 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 equal sections. So this right over here represents, this represents 1 eighth of the whole. And so we see conceptually that 1 half times 1 fourth, it completely makes sense that 1 half of 1 fourth should be 1 eighth. And it hopefully makes sense that you get this 8 by multiplying the 2 times the 4. You started with 4 equal sections, but then you divided each of those 4 equal sections into 2 equal sections. So then you have 8 total equal sections that you split your whole into. Let's do another example, but now let's multiply two fractions that don't have 1's in the numerator. So let's multiply, let's multiply 2 thirds, 2 thirds times times 4 fifths. And I encourage you now to pause the video and do something very similar to what I did, just did. Try to represent 4 fifths of a whole, and then try to represent 2 thirds of that 4 fifths, and see what fraction of the whole you actually have. So pause now. So let's think about this. Let's represent 4 fifths. So if I have a whole like this, let me try to divide it into 5 equal sections. 5 equal sections, so let's say that is 1 equal section, that is 2 equal sections, that is 3, 4, and 5. I can do a better job than this. This is always the hard part. I'm trying my best to make them look at least like equal sections. 2, 3, 4, and 5. I think you get the point here. I'm trying to make them equal sections. And we want 4 fifths. So we want 4 of these 5 equal sections. So this would be 1 of the five equal sections, two of them, three of them, and then four of them. So that right over there is four fifths. Now we can view this as two thirds of the four fifths. So how can we think about that? Well, we could take this section and divide it into thirds. So let's do that. Divide it into thirds. So we're gonna divide it into three equal sections. So that's one third and then two thirds. So we took each of the five equal sections and we divided them into three equal sections. Now what's going to be 2 thirds of the 4 fifths? Well that's going, to be, that's going to be this part right over here. So let me make this clear. This, this is 1 third of the 4 fifths. And then if we could, this would be 2 thirds of the 4 fifths. So this right over here would be 2 thirds of the 4 fifths or 2 thirds times 4 fifths. But what fraction of the whole does that represent? Well, how many, total, how many total equal sections do we now have? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 equal sections. Let me do this in a new color. We have 15 equal sections, and that makes sense. We started with five equal sections, but then we divided each of those into three equal sections. So now we have five times three total equal sections. And then how many of those are now colored in? Well, we see it's two times four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or how many, how many of them are in the two thirds of the four fifths, I should say? And there's eight of them, eight of the 15 equal sections. And so there you have it. It, it should hopefully now make visual sense, or it makes conceptual sense, that 2 thirds times 4 fifths, you can obviously compute it by just multiplying the numerators. 2 times 4 is 8, and then multiplying the denominators, 3 times 5 is 15. But hopefully this now makes conceptual sense as 2 thirds of 4 fifths.